Hi, my name's Steve Large. And I just want to talk about the mind, the body and the soul. So, we are souls. Souls are energy and we are eternal beings. For our souls to be able to exist on earth, we need our physical bodies to, to be in this 3D dimension. So, we have a body which houses our soul and the body has senses, it has uh, touch, it has smell, it has uh, vision, um, taste and hearing and we have a mind that's attached in the body. So the mind is there to make sure the body doesn't die basically. It makes sure that the body, it's like a command center to, to tell you, the soul, to eat, to sleep, to rest. Otherwise, without the mind, we could just burn the body out and wouldn't even realize it. Because we're energy, we just keep going and going and going. We need the mind to help us conserve our energy. So this is why when sometimes if you've had a hard day in work, and I know this one well, and you want to go to the gym, your mind will start telling you, hey, maybe have a rest tonight, maybe not go to the gym, maybe take it easy, you deserve a rest. Now, this isn't because the mind's bad. It's because the mind knows your body's getting tired and it's telling you to rest your body. Now, the thing with this is, the mind will tell you to rest long before you need to. It preserves your body well in advance. So if your body has got 100% capacity to, to do exercise and other things, your mind is going to start telling you to conserve energy around about 50%. So this is the job of the mind. We need the mind to look after the body. Like I say, it's the nerve center of the body. Everything goes through there and we take our information from the mind. So what we need to understand is we are the soul. We are the commander, our higher self behind our thoughts. Once we start identifying with our thoughts, it's no longer us. Now, the mind gets programmed. It gets programmed to, to what food is. It gets programmed to what we're supposed to be doing and this and what society tells us we should be doing. This is just programming. It's not necessarily real. The problem with today is most of us, me not so much anymore, thankfully, it's took a lot of practice, but there's still a lot of us in the world who are under control of our minds. We identify with our minds as us. So we need to just be aware of this. I want to keep it brief and I want to keep it just about the mind, the body and the soul. Just for those of you who are wondering the connection between the three. We are a soul. The body houses us on the 3D plane of Earth. The mind is the consult, uh, control centre for the body. And that's it. I hope this has been of help. Um, thank you once again. And love and light. Have a great morning, evening, noon, night, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Keep shining. You're doing a great job. Thank you.